Dave Taylor here, and this time I'm in my kitchen because we're gonna play Mad Scientist. We're gonna try out the Drippo Travel Iced Drip Coffee Maker. And the idea is that it's gonna make us cold brew coffee in only two and a half hours. Sounds like a long time, but if people that actually understand and appreciate coffee know that cold brew is typically 24 hours, and the idea is it takes some of the edge out of coffee. Sure, you can make it, you can grind the beans and put it to a perk later or something or do a k-cup or something but doing a cold brew is a slow process and it makes it just taste a lot better so the question is can you really do that in just a couple hours let's find out so we're gonna try the drippo and it's basically you have a container you have a thing to put your coffee in you have a thing to put your water in you put them all together and boom it just sits and runs and you go and do something else for a couple hours so to start I'm gonna take my coffee and I'm gonna actually grind the beans our goal is to create a quarter cup of ground coffee so we will do that with my little coffee grinder because we want it to be as fresh as possible and I just grind it probably longer than I need to but I just wait until I don't hear anything so we can assume that it's a pretty good well ground coffee Okay, so we have it ground. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and get a quarter cup of coffee out of this. And it's ground beans, of course. And I'll use a little spoon and make it a little easier and perhaps a bit less of a mess. And, oh, I might be slightly generous with my quarter cup of coffee, but here's a really important step is I want to actually get it wet because the key to success with this device is to have the coffee a little moist so that, boy, it's making a mess, so that it's, the water spreads more evenly along the coffee as it brews. So this is sort of a huge mess. We'll just sort of roll with it. And I'm gonna put it all in here And then you can see I sort of left a bit of a mess. We'll just cover that up and who knows, maybe someday that'll magically fix itself. But I'm gonna put a drop more water in, even though I know this is also gonna just make a little bit more of a mess, but really, really important. You wanna have the water as it flows through the system go through as much of the coffee as possible. So just a little drop or two and now we're pretty much ready to roll. You want to spread it around and tamp it down so it's nice and even. And I think we're good to go. We'll get this coffee that's on the spoon because we want nice strong coffee. So we don't want to lose too much of our coffee grounds in this process. Now the next step is it, the system includes these little filters. Now, you can use any coffee filter and just cut it to size, but this just makes it easy. And they recommend you just put it on top, and the idea is that it's supposed to help spread the water around. So we're basically ready to roll. So this goes in here, and then this screws on top. Uh, supposed to screw on top. Some, we are having minor technical issues here, so stand by. There we go, okay. So now you can see we have the container, the coffee, the filter, and this top unit is a drip unit. But since we're making iced coffee, we wanna start with ice. So that's easy enough. So I'm gonna drop a bunch of ice in here and then fill it up with water. And we're done. I'm gonna go ahead and just put the lid on. And you can see here in the middle, it's starting to drip. So now we need to wait two and a half hours. So I'll clean up this mess and in two and a half hours, I'll come right back and tell you a little bit more about the Drippo coffee system. Okay, so 
About two and a half hours have passed and as you can see we've gone from an empty lower container to nice thick dark coffee. I hope it's gonna taste good. We're basically done. You never quite get rid of everything on the top but I'm just gonna call it and I'm gonna unscrew this and I can take all the pieces apart later. I just wanna to get to the coffee. So I'll just move this over to here, put it out of the way. Smells like some pretty serious coffee. Let's add a little bit of cream. Just kind of like having cream in my coffee. So I'll pour a little bit in. That's looking like coffee. I could add some ice cubes. Heck, I could add those ice cubes. But let's just give it a swirl and a taste. Mmm, it's really good. It's smoother than if I would have just made straight coffee. These are still pretty aggressive beans, if you know what I mean. So it's still a really strong bite to it, but that's those beans, that's what I used. So different coffee is gonna give you very different results. But two and a half hours, not bad. And that's not a huge amount of coffee, but it's definitely plenty to keep me going for a couple of hours. Now, having done all this and having spent all this time on this device, let's talk about it. So this is, all these pieces are the Drippo Travel Cold Brew Iced Drip Coffee Maker. And the intention of it is that you could actually use it in a hotel room pretty easily, especially if you planned ahead and you packed some ground coffee and maybe even measured it out and had it in a couple of Ziplocs. It's gonna be way better than that $4 single curry cup that you're gonna get from the hotel coffee maker. Um, it is known as Dutch or Japanese style drip coffee. The entire unit is about 1.2 pounds, so it's not like it weighs very much. Uh, it's really high quality plastic, it's not glass. Um, and the unit itself, it's a 20 ounce tumbler and it's a 10 ounce, uh, 10 ounce ice drip coffee maker. So their intention is that you're gonna end up making about 10 ounces of coffee, little less than a can of soda, but that's okay. Why would you want a can of soda when you can have fresh coffee? Now, I love the container. It's a Kickstarter campaign, but the whole thing looks like this huge milk container, really fun packaging. And the filters, it comes in a pack of 50. You get like 20 of them or something with the container when you buy it, but it's really pretty ridiculously inexpensive. This 50 filters only runs you $4.95 off of their website. And this unit, <coughs> excuse me, this unit you can get for $34.95 off of the getdrippo.com site, but with a little bit of hunting, I think you could find it online for even less than that. So I'm sold. This is a really fun and easy way to make drip and cold brew coffee, and something where I certainly can imagine, like first thing in the morning, crack of dawn, I get up, I get this thing rolling, and then you know, a couple hours later, I'm like mid-morning, I'm ready to go, and I got some nice cold brew coffee ready to drink. So, this is Dave Taylor, this is the Drippo Coffee Maker, and I'm ready to continue drinking this fantastic coffee, and I'll catch you in my next video.